Owie! Hey! Noriko? I'm so glad you called. I've been a terrible friend. I haven't kept in touch with you. No, no, it's okay. Really. I've been busy. I should have called you earlier. Seriously, I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you want to talk to me about something? Yes. Well, I think so. Please, you can talk to me about anything. I'm Noriko, remember? <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, so, I wanted to ask... Have you ever heard of something called Corpse Girl's website? Yeah, I've heard rumors. Really? Wow. So, does it really exist? Um, apparently, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't find any solid information about it. What is it? Uh, well... It's all just hearsay. I wouldn't take it too seriously. Oh, but I want to know. Well, people say that you can use the site to request somebody's death. Requested death? But, but how? How does it work? Really, I don't know. I've heard that the victim receives a photo of their own corpse. The photo is supposedly sent from the future. Whoa! Really? That... that sounds like something from a manga. Uh, yeah. Suppose it does. Uh, have you ever used the website? Uh, of course not, silly. What kind of person do you think I am? <sighs> Sorry. Why are you so excited about this anyway? Oh, um, no reason. I kinda just like weird stuff like this. You do? Oh, I never knew that. <laughs> you don't know everything about me, Miss Noriko. Don't go using the site, okay? It's not good to mess with crap like that. Don't worry. I wouldn't use something so scary. I just heard about it and, well, I got kind of curious is all. All right. By the way, how is everything? Are you still working at the maid cafe? Uh, yeah. And that customer of yours? The... uh... He... he's still around. You're not in trouble, are you? No. Owie? You're not thinking about requesting that guy's death, are you? Uh... Owie? You told me that you didn't even want to get the police involved. Now you want him dead? It's... it's not what you think, okay? If... if he dies, it won't be because of me, right? Then... the rest of my family won't know I was involved. They won't disown me or think less of me. Owie... Look, I'm not going to go ahead with it, okay? Besides, you don't even believe this might work. So...
Chloe. My best advice for you is to go to the police. Don't mess with requesting his death. Hey, I gotta go now. Three new requests? How?
So, how's this? Where did you even get this piece of shit? Some guy. <laughs> some guy? What guy? There's some guy from the noise marketplace. Only wanted 250 for it. So, here's the other half of your money back. You're welcome. die in this ugh, thing, are we? Who knows? It has AC! Great. Did you ask the guy if anyone has ever been murdered in it? What do you care? It's gonna see a lot of corpses before we're done with it. Corpses in this thing. It's important, and you owe me one, remember? <laughs> that shit's gross. I don't mind driving, but <laughs> come on. Ugh, whatever. As long as I don't have to touch nothing. I'm doing the heavy lifting. Don't worry. Weirdo, anyway. When you said you wanted me to go pick up a van, I thought you'd put me in decent company. <sighs> Sorry. He's my, uh, business partner. This is all for Corpse Girl shit, right? <laughs> well, whatever. I'm cool with it. Just hope this dude doesn't try to cut me or nothing. Anyway, get in. Huh? Why? Going to the morgue. Hang on, hang on. I haven't planned anything yet. You want to do this now? If not now, when? Any other time, after I've had a chance to get organized. Hmm. You have requests, right? Yeah, three, actually. Right, so let's go get some bodies that match. But... You haven't even had time to put aside any ashes. You were gonna collect a little from each cremation and put them aside and... Already done. Seriously? Worked night shift last night. Got like three or four canisters saved up. You said you've got three requests? Well, how convenient. But... Look, this operation was your idea. You want to do it or not. Ugh. told you I'd guide you through the process, right? There's nothing to worry about. You don't understand. I... I've never been to the morgue before. You nervous? I think I understand. For me, it 
It's the most relaxing place on Earth. My little sanctuary. Really? Sure. No one to talk to me. No one to bother me. Unless you count the dead, of course. I suppose that's true. And you won't be alone. You've got me and this chick. It's Tomoe. Thank you very much. Right. Sauce. Okay. Let's go. Honey, I'm home. They store bodies in here? Of course. See all these lockers? They're cold chambers. Pretty much all of them are full. A body in each. Fucking disgusting. Noriko? Yeah? I keep things in order around here. Chambers on the left wall, or cadavers due for cremation. And what about the lockers on the right wall? No touchy-touchy. They're new arrivals, or they're being collected for some reason or other. Autopsy, funeral, etc. Got it. So, we can only make use of the cadavers in the lockers on the left wall. That's a bingo. Hey, question. Shoot. How do I know who is in each locker? Like, if I wanted to get an old woman's corpse, do I just have to search blindly? Nah. Okay, then what do I do? Come here. Familiar with databases? Somewhat. It's pretty simple anyway. Live database contains the current inventory items. Ew. Well, you refer to these bodies as inventory items? What would you call them? Well, like, they used to be real people and shit, right? Why not show some respect? I don't understand. They're cadavers. Uh, don't 
worry about him, Tomoe. He can be a bit insensitive. <sighs> He's a freak! Wow. Ouch. Okay, so I can search this database for bodies that match my needs. Yep, just use the filters at the top. Not many categories, but it has the basics. Age range, gender, name... Not that that'll be useful to you. Actually, that's about it. It's enough. It'll save some time at the very least. Okay, so you want to hoist three bodies today, right? You said you have three requests? Yeah, but... This place is kind of overwhelming. I'm hesitant to bite off more than we can chew. What's the game plan, then? How about we just take one body today? We'll take it back to the factory, work on it, and see how we go. Works for me. Here, use the database. these numbers mean? This one here is 64AB. This one is number 31AA. Ah, okay. Letters correspond to location. First letter refers to left wall or right wall. Second letter refers to top row or bottom row. Um, give me an example. Okay, this one? Number 64AB. The A means it's on the left wall and the B means it's on the bottom row. Left wall. That's the side I can choose from, right? The body's due for cremation? Yep. So I could grab number 64AB if I wanted. Up to you. But this one here... Let's see... Number 98BA. Could I grab that? No. The first letter is B, so that's on the right wall. No go. Not scheduled for cremation. I think I get it. Thanks. I'm going to start cracking open some of these sarcophagi. Haha. <laughs> That's a new one. Mad. Here we go.
thought the body would slide out automatically. No? It just pulled the tray out, like you'd pull out an oven tray. Just unzip the HRP. The what? Uh, the body bag. Unzip it, but cover your nose.
Yo, you okay? What the fuck, Noriko? <coughs> I'm, I'm fine. You don't fucking look fine. You chucked up all over the place. Should be right. Seen this kind of thing before. What do you mean? Pretty normal to react like that to a decomposing cadaver. Surprised you're okay, to Tomo? It's Tomo, eh? Shit! <clears throat> yeah, I'm fine. I don't like him, but I've seen corpses before. Well, I thought Noriko had too. <laughs> Just pictures, I guess. Right. Are you really corpse girl? <laughs> Apparently. Come on, let's get you up. Sorry about the vomit. It's fine. It's fucked up, but it's fine. Call it a day? No. There's something I need to do. Whoever this was, she's exactly what I need for my next victim. Hmm. That worked out well. Can we get her into the van? Okay, I'll grab a trolley. Tomoe, give me a hand. Ugh, if I have to. Hmm, it's kind of gross, but it's not really that bad. Ugh, I'm glad you've come around, but I still don't want nothing to do with it. Right, so we're here, we got your body, what now? We are going to make this body look as close as possible to this girl. Right, but why? Because then we can photograph it and convince the victim, Emmy, that it's her own dead body. Why? <laughs> I 
That's how Corpse Girl does things. I don't know. Sounds like a shit plan. We went to all that effort to steal a dead body, and you just want to take photos of it? Look, so far I've done everything with photo manipulation. And sometimes it's successful, like with Akane Surumaki. That bitch? It convinced her to kill herself. But... I'll admit that it hasn't worked so well on Corpse Girl's other victims. <laughs> so you think repeating the same thing that don't work over and over again will eventually work? She's got a point, Noriko. Corpse Girl doesn't have the best track record. Maybe something has to change. But... What? This is the way I've always done things, and... and... You two are right. I can't keep going on like this. I... I've already crafted a photo of this victim's death. So I... I really don't know why I let it get so far. I guess I didn't truly think we'd pull this off. I kind of just went along with Kojiro's suggestion to go to the morgue. Hey, don't pin it on me. This is your scheme. The weirdo is right. This is on you, Nariko. Here, give me your phone. Yo, you said you already made the corpse photo. Where is it? I don't keep it on my phone. That would be stupid. The only copy is still on my laptop at home. But you've got a photo of this bitch on your phone. Well, yeah. I just pulled it from her noise profile earlier. It's exactly the same image that was uploaded to Corpse Girl's website, though. Right, right. Hold it. How did you know the Vic's name? Corpse Girl doesn't ask for a name. Oh, uh, this girl... I actually went to school with her. It's a coincidence, I assure you. Uh-huh. Uh, look, that doesn't matter, does it? Well, tell me what the corpse photo looks like. Um, well, it wasn't my most creative work. I had three requests to fulfill in a short amount of time, so I kind of made them all similar. I made it look like this girl, Emmy, fell from a tall building and splattered on the pavement. Fucking lame. <laughs> yeah. Why did you want to know, anyway? I've got an idea for you. I know, I'm just the driver and all, but you've dragged me in this far. So at least let me make a suggestion, Kay. Okay, go ahead. We've got this here body. You've got a corpse photo of the bitch all locked and loaded. Let's kick it up a notch. Take your time to apply makeup. Make the body really look like the victim. Send her the corpse photo first, and then... We'll deliver this body to the bitch. 
Deliver the body? We rock up at her joint, leave the dead body on her doorstep, and then we fucking get out of there. Can you imagine how fucking scary it would be to come face to face with your own corpse? <sighs> Think about it from her perspective. She gets a photo of her own dead body, right? Then, like, hours later, just as she's trying to get it out of her mind, her own corpse shows up at her house. <laughs> She'll fucking snap, I guarantee it. Hell, I probably would too, and I know what's going on. Yo, what the? Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> Your idea is brilliant. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, I can't think of a better way to bring Corpse Girl's plans to fruition. <laughs> I mean, I just said the first thing that came to mind, so... But hey, I'm real glad you liked the idea. I'm happy to help. Hell... I wonder if you'd make a better corpse girl than me. Nah, <laughs> don't be stupid. I just had one good idea is all. No, oh, come on. It ain't like you to get all sappy. Pick yourself up, yeah? Right. In a moment. You're so warm. Jeez. Come on now, we've got work to do. Hmm. Okay. He never had a girl cling to me like that before. Better not tell Shinya in case he gets real jealous. <laughs> We starting? Yes. Let's do this. Mad. Few things to keep in mind. Putting makeup on a cadaver isn't as simple as you think. This one's already decomposing. Not all the makeup will take. Put a little extra on. Don't be stingy. It doesn't help that the body is ice cold. Though if we had a space heater, we could warm it up. That would help the makeup stick, but it'll speed up decomposition. We can't have it decomposing any faster. It's already out of cold storage, so I imagine we don't have long as it is. Right. We're going to want to deliver it to your Vic soon, like less than 24 hours soon. That's fine. Yo. What about time in the delivery? Corpse Girl's photos have a, what's it called, a, a timestamp? Yeah, I timestamped the photos with a supposed time of death. I usually set it to a little after the time the victim receives the photo, 
Sometimes a few hours, sometimes a whole day. Uh-huh. I get it. Well, like, for best effect, we're gonna want to deliver the corpse before the time marked on the photo, right? Hmm. That way, the Vic gets the photo and the corpse before the set time. Creates a kind of ticking time bomb. Should convince him to off himself before time's up. That makes sense. I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, so, um, what time did you write on this Emmy Chick's corpse photo? Seven twenty-eight a.m. tomorrow. We gotta deliver the corpse before then, huh? Too early. Usually asleep. Well, you're gonna have to get your ass up early for Noriko. For Corpse Girl. So I'll send the photo out when I get home tonight. Emmy will receive it before she goes to bed for the night. It should shake her a little. Then, in the morning, she'll wake up to her doorbell ringing and a corpse left on her doorstep. That should be enough to do the trick. Think you're both forgetting something. Where are we delivering the corpse? Are you dense? We're delivering it to this Emmy bitch's home. Sure, of course. But where does she live? Got her address? Oh. Ah, oh, shit. This whole thing is a bust. Kinda disappointed in you, Noriko. Thought Corpse Girl was some mastermind, some genius worth worshipping. Turns out everything so far has been sheer luck. Well, I'm out. Use the factory if you want, but I'm not sticking around. Hold up just one fucking second. We're just getting started here. Of course there's gonna be hiccups. We'll iron out all the details as we go. Don't just abandon Noriko like that. Corpse Girl has done more for me than you'll ever know. That's so? Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna stand by her side. If you're a coward, feel free to bow out now. But if Noriko means anything to you, anything at all, then just swallow your fucking doubts and help her out. Right. Suppose we did make a deal after all. Though, nothing really stopping me from taking cadavers from the morgue whenever I want now. Still, I guess I'll help you out. But if this keeps going astray, I really will walk away. Fine, but follow through on this one victim at least. Please. I can't do this without you. Hmm. Okay. Find Emmy's address. If Tomoe drives, I'll handle moving the corpse in the morning. 
Okay, I'll work it out. Thank you, Kojiro. Phew. Okay, got any ideas? Maybe one. Can you call Shinya? Ask him if he remembers Emi Katsuno from school, and see if he knows where she lives. Shinya? Oh, yeah. He said once that you went to school together. Guess he might know Emmy too, huh? My thoughts exactly. I'm going to make a call as well. Noriko? Hey, me again. <laughs> Feels like we just spoke this morning, hey? It was this morning. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Listen, just a quick question. Do you remember Emi Katsuno from school? Katsuno? Okay, that's really freaky, Noriko. Huh? What is? I bumped into Katsuno just today at the mall. Uh, you're kidding. I'm serious. She was pretty distressed, actually. She just got fired from her job. I see. Actually, it's kind of funny. I spoke with you about Corpse Girl's website this morning, and... I spoke to Katsuno about it, too. Really? Seems like there's someone she wanted dead. Maybe. I'm not sure. Perhaps her boss that fired her? Hmm. Interesting. Why are you asking about her anyway? Ah, uh, it's an odd question, but... Do you happen to know where she lives? Yes. Wait, seriously? Mm-hmm. Want me to send you her address? Are you going to visit her? Oh, Aoi! <clears throat> if you could send her address, then I'll really owe you one. Sure, I'll text it through. <laughs> I didn't think you'd actually know it, but I wanted to ask anyway. No problem. I followed her home today from the mall, so I guess it worked out well for you. What did you say? Oh, I followed Emmy home today. I got on the train carriage behind hers. Well, don't worry. She didn't see me. Owie, what are you talking about? Well, I wanted to find out if she was going to use Corpse Girl's website. Since I recommended it to her and all. I... I don't know what to say. Hey, I'm still at work, okay? I shouldn't really be talking on the phone. We'll chat later. Bye-bye. Owie, wait! D don't hang- Up. At least I got the address. You got it? Nice. Shinya barely remembered the chick, apparently, so he wasn't really helpful. Sorry. No trouble. We got what we needed. It's getting dark. Help me put some makeup on the corpse. Okay, show me that photo of Emmy again. We'd better do this properly.
Right. Here. <laughs> 